This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at balancing chemical equations. The law of the conservation of mass states that mass is conserved in a chemical reaction. This means that the total mass of the products must be equal to the total mass of the reactants. So here we have an example with the reaction of methane and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. The first point to note is that we have the same number of atoms in the reactants as we do in the products. Next, if we add up the mass of the reactants and the products, we can see we get the same value for both. This shows us that mass is conserved in a chemical reaction. So to balance a chemical equation, we can only change the numbers in front of the reactants and products. These are called coefficients. So next we look at an example. In this unbalanced equation, we have the reaction of sodium with chlorine to produce sodium chloride. So the first step to balance this equation is to count the number of atoms in both the reactants and the products. So in the reactants, we have one sodium atom and two chlorine atoms. In the products, we have one sodium atom and one chlorine atom. To balance this equation, we put a two in front of the sodium and a two in front of the sodium chloride. So we now have the same number of atoms in the reactants and the products. In our next example, we have the unbalanced equation for the reaction of calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid to form calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. So once again, to balance the equation, we need to count the number of atoms in the reactants and the products. So in the reactants, we have one calcium atom, one carbon atom, one hydrogen atom, three oxygen atoms, and one chlorine atom. In the products, we have one calcium, one carbon, two hydrogens, three oxygens, and two chlorines. So by changing the coefficient in front of the HCl from a one to a two, we now have the same number of atoms in the reactants and the products. In our next example, we have the unbalanced equation for the reaction of hexane, C6H14, with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So in the reactants, we have six carbon atoms, 14 hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. In the products, we have one carbon, two hydrogen, and three oxygen atoms. So to balance this equation, we need to put two in front of the hexane, 19 in front of the oxygen, 12 in front of the carbon dioxide, and 14 in front of the water. And we now have the same number of atoms in the reactants and the products. In our final example, we have the unbalanced equation for the reaction of zinc with silver nitrate to produce zinc nitrate and silver. So in the reactants, we have one zinc, one silver, one nitrogen, and three oxygen atoms. In the products, we have one zinc, one silver, two nitrogen, and six oxygen atoms. So to balance the equation, we need to put a two in front of the silver nitrate and a two in front of the silver, which gives us the same number of atoms in the reactants and the products.